Hi guys, it's Ali and welcome to today's video. Okay, so today I'm going to show you some stuff that I've collected to start an Alice in Wonderland journal. Again, I'm using no digitals. I've been collecting since last year. I've had a basket. Keep buying a few little bits if I see anything. I'm putting it in the basket and I've collected enough stuff now to put a nice big Alice journal together. Uh, it'll either be, I think, I don't know whether to do two or three signatures. So what I thought I'd do today is just go through and show you what I've collected. Um, these are all papers and that. We'll do that at the end. Let me just put them behind me for a minute. Um, this is the fabric that I've bought for the cover. It's got the cups and the hearts, the playing cards, the teapot, the clock. So that's what I'm going to use for my cover. I'm going to do a hard backed journal yeah so that's the fabric that i've got right all the stuff i've collected um i bought this this is a coloring book i'm gonna it's a used one i bought it off um it was off a book website and it did say used but i thought some of these i can use got alice there these lovely images can use some of the words I could even put in like a page you know a full-size coloring page for whoever gets the journal to to use so all these I thought I can cut out and color some of them if I don't put them in the journal as pages yeah I only paid three pound for it so it was made up I know there's a bit of coloring at the front but that's fine. So, yeah, I've got that nice colouring book. It is quite big. Okay, what else have I collected? I've collected a lot of stuff, to be honest. I've been, like I said, it was last year when I started collecting because I'm doing no digital. This is a piece of rice paper that I bought off Etsy. I just thought I'd show you what kind of things I'm going to put in it. Uh, in case you're working along with me obviously i've been collecting this for a long time i've not just gone out and bought all this stuff so that's lovely rice paper i thought it'd be nice for some journal cards i can collage that onto envelopes and different bits so that is that uh, i've dug out i bought what did i buy i bought these napkins and I have got an Alice napkin somewhere, but I can't put my hands in it. I'm going to have to have a look. I've got that with the teacups. I've got that with the hearts. I've got that with the cakes. And then some florals. I thought they would be nice mixed in. I've got a playing card stencil. Um, I've bought a couple of books to pick from got this one i didn't know what i was buying to be honest i put illustrated books in this one i bought online these three these two i got from the charity shop this has got some images in that i can uh, take out i can also use some of go through it and cut some of the words and the phrases out i'm going to spend an evening going through it and just cutting some phrases out and then i've got this one here uh, which has got i mean it is childlike but i don't know whether i'll put any of these in i might do i you know i might use it so that's that one i have got a ladybird book somewhere and i don't know whether it's in this basket and then this one again is images but the only thing with this one is um folding it there might be some pages i could get away with folding in half might do or i might just use it for ephemera anyway they were only from the charity shop they were 10 pence each then but so i got that what else did i get i'm just looking where that other ladybird book went got some more papers here i think these i might have picked these out for the signature i think i did let me put them with my signature signature pages these are stuff i've had in my drawers forever in a day and i've just got out i thought we might be able to use them got some flowers i've got teapot cups and saucers hearts butterflies 
Nike. Just yeah, just bits and pieces that I've got out, and I thought we might be able to use them. Uh, I'm going to show you the papers in a minute. This is just a little folder of bits and pieces that I've collected. These are from book pages that I've just cut out, and then these were from and um, this was from a magazine that I got free a couple of years ago, and then I bought this one. Uh, this is from all and create and it just says wishing you madly a good day so i've got them little bits in there just some bits of paper that come with a kit a card making kit it was so i've got them whether i'll use them i don't know but we've got them anyway so let's just put that then it doesn't leave a glare right so all the stuff i've put in I've put some of these fibres in, all different colour fibres to make some dangles and some bits and pieces with. Uh, I've put some sequins in to do some shakers. I've got pink, like tealy blue and yellow. Put them in. I might not use half of this stuff, but I just like gathering and collecting. I've got this ribbon that I might use, might use that for my closure actually and then I've got this red and white gingham ribbon I've dug these out, I just thought we might be able to make some words or something with them and then what else have I got, I think I'll show you the new stuff that I've bought I'll show you in a minute, let me just um, have a look what's in this little I've got some playing cards just some little playing cards and then I picked these up in a charity shop it just says we are mad here and these are just I can't get hold of them they're just craft playing cards so I thought we might use some of them I have got a packet of really big playing cards I might get the queen of hearts out of that and put that in the journal somewhere this is a box of bits and pieces these are Mad as a Hatter charms. I've got that little, it's like a little pin that says Drink Me. I've got this bookmark that's got Alice at the tea party. Some stamps. I've got some little rose, red and gold rose charms. These are really nice actually. These are from Timu, I think, or she, yeah, Timu, I think they're from. Oh, it's a bracelet actually, yeah. I thought I'll put a jump ring on it and maybe hang it from the spine. It's a little bracelet. Or I could cut them off and use them as single, you know, individual. And then these are... These are chess pieces, I think. Charms. Yeah, it's a little key ring, which I thought would be nice. And it's got chess pieces on. Again, that was from Timmy. These were all under a pound. I haven't paid a lot for them and then I've got some other little charms that I've got in there and then these are from some are from a card making kit there's no digitals at all and the rest of this is a card making kit the rest are from these ones here these like chipboard ones and um, these were I can't remember where I got these from. It was a packet of die cuts anyway. But these chipboard ones are stamp area. These were from a card making kit. They're just little stamps. So I've got all them. So I'll put them in there. On the stuff that I've bought new, I've been collecting. I'll show you what I've got. What's that? Oh, that's a die that I've bought, them teacups. I thought that would be nice to... To cut okay so these were some were from amazon some were from ebay and i think i got one from timu as well which was the one i got i can't remember they're just um i'll show you let's see if we can get in it open. Cut it. Just get rid of that they're just cart like little bits of ephemera that we can use. Yeah, they'll have to be backed because they're only quite thin. But yeah, they're just um just bits and pieces that I've picked up. And that's them. 
I am careful of buying papers and that because I know some of them are like stolen from digital creators which I would hate to do um yeah I'd hate to think that I've bought something like that especially with doing a no digital journal these I think I got from Amazon I think yeah I think these were from Amazon and they're just just stickers that I've got yeah apparently they steal design you know where uh, digital designers work which is absolutely awful i'd hate to think i've bought papers so i didn't buy any of the actual paper pads or anything i was a bit too wary and then i've got this one that's just got all ephemera in as well oops these are these this is a nice one actually just got all tags and oh i don't want that to rip all sorts of ephemera in there so i've got plenty of things to make to use on to make ephemera with yeah like i said i've been collecting for months and months for this journal so that is that and then these are from prima this is the alice postcard kit and you get some stickers and then you get some postcards and oh they're envelopes are they was the, oh postcard oh that's good you get the postcards and the envelopes they're nice aren't they i also got the little prima journaling note cards this is called lost in wonderland you get 45 sheets 15 designs three each these are nice so these are just these don't need backing these are quite thick books are mirrors you only see in them what you already have inside you imagination is the only weapon in the war against reality <laughs> this dream could come true oh i've had such a curious dream these are nice aren't they I like Prima stuff. Fill your life with adventures, not things. Have stories to tell, not stuff to show. So, yeah, they're nice, aren't they? They'll come in lovely to put in the journal. So, let's just pop them back in there. And then I bought these from Craft Stash. I've seen this kit. Again, it's another packet of die cuts. I won't get them all out. Oh, I can show you if you want me to. Um, yeah, these are craft stash. I like. Let's have a look what we've got. Yeah, these are nice. They're not too thick, which I like. Lots of nice die cuts. I could put a couple of journals together with all this stuff, to be quite honest. I could do two, really. Yeah, I could even put three together. I've got that much stuff here. I won't use all this in one journal, but I can just put it in a box and put it away till I want to make another one. But yeah, it has, um, I have spent quite a bit, to be honest. You know, you buy a digital kit for a couple of quid, can't you? But this stuff I can use again, the stuff that I don't. I know you can use digitals again, and I've got absolutely nothing against digitals i love digitals i've got hundreds of them on my laptop i just wanted a little change that was all just to use some of my own stuff and create things myself really with all the lovely goodies that i've got and then this is just an eight by eight paper pack i'll probably use this for ephemera i don't know i might put a couple of pieces in the journal i'll leave that with the signatures and then i've got this this was the last thing i bought this oh a couple of years ago i spotted it on a website for four pound it's just the stamp area one that goes with the die cuts and we'll use some of these pages i'll probably put a couple of these in the journal i think if depending on how i can fold them we'll have a little look i'll leave that one out as well so that's everything i've collected guys to do my journal with um like i said i've not just gone out and bought all this stuff all at once i've been collecting since last year yeah so i've got a nice collection of goodies now to work with i have i'm just gonna take that out of there i'm just gonna put them all back in 
my basket at the side of me and then I can keep them all together. Uh, I'll keep that colouring book out. I'm just going to have a look at putting some signatures together. Uh, this stuff I might not use. I don't know. I've just got it out and then I've got it in my basket if I want to use it. I thought they were nice. Some flowers quite colourful. Then in there. And then my sequins, die cuts, that's the rice paper. Oh, I've got two stamp sets as well. Got that one. We're all mad here. I'm mad, you're mad. How do you know I'm mad, said Alice? You must be, said the cat, or you wouldn't have come here. And then we've just got little Alice ones there. Okay, so let me just move this basket. So that's my basket there. All my bits and pieces in. Let me just, all my fabric. I'm going to have a think about what I want to do for the front of the cover. Not made my mind up yet. So I've had a whale of a time going through all my 12 by 12 papers and A4 papers and whatnot, looking for different things. So there are papers there. I definitely want to put a book page in each one. Um, I have. Let's see if we can do it like this. So I've got a book page for each. I've got a doily for each. I've got a paper bag for each. All these envelopes I've got. Uh, I've got a piece of that dotty paper. I've got two pieces of that actually. I don't know whether all this will go in. I've got a diary page. These are just envelopes. I'm just going to put them to one side for a minute. I'm not sure how many papers I want in. I've got avocado dyed. I'm going to put one of each of them. I've got just some coffee dyed. I'm going to put one of each of them. An invoice and a ledger. Um, and then I've got some of this faux coffee dyed paper. One two, three, four, one, two, three, four, I've got some sheet music, I've got some, I don't know whether I want that in to be honest, I don't think, I've got a graph paper, I'll put it there, I might use it, I've got these out, but I don't think I want them, to be honest. I think I've got enough. I don't think we need them. Let's just have a look what else I've got. I've got a piece of, like, lined ledger paper. Uh, I've got this. That can go in one of them. It's just a piece of scrapbooking paper. Put that there. And then we'll put... I've got this black and white one. We'll put this one in the other one. They all need cutting down. I'm just going to put them in two piles for now. I've got that piece. And we'll put that in there. I've got, I've, like I said, I've just been round and just collected some papers that I thought might be nice to go in. Um, I think that, I'm not sure about that one. Um blue let's have some blue in each one in each just rip that these are from card making magazines and we'll have that one i just sort of had a little look around to find papers that i thought might go And that one, I think that's enough of them. I might save some of them for making ephemera with. I don't want them that chunky that we can't close the journals. So I've got this one. Let me just get them a minute. Let's just put these together first. Just put. Right, I'm just going to grab, I am going to fold that because it's easier to pin it. Right, let's have a look at this. I'm just going to get a little, put that on there and then let's do the same with this one. Let's fold that. 
don't know what kind of binding I'm going to do yet. I've not made my mind up whether I'll stitch it in or whether I'll do like a Midori elastic binding. Okay, so that's two. Let's have a look how many we've got there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 70, 18 wow so let's have a look if i'm doing elastic binding i can always split it into three if i change my mind and think it's too much i'll split it into three so i definitely want that paper so that is one should we cut it down uh, get me trim it i'm gonna do my cover nine by seven i think so i'm gonna cut this down to uh, eight and three quarters or should I do eight and a half no I'm going to do eight and three quarters yet so, so that's one keep these bits for um, ephemera what else do oh there's another sticky label thing there um, that's vellum we have a piece of vellum in each one. Cut that. Nine and three. I'm going to do that eight and a half. Just vary the sizes a little bit. So we've got a piece of vellum, which that's nice with the roses, isn't it? Yeah. Put that there. Um, don't think I want that. And like I said, I just went in and grabbed a few pieces. I've got a Tim Holtz one there. Um, I think we'll have the bottom of that one. So nine and three quarters. I just want to get rid of that parcel post off the top. I think that'll be nice. Um, no, I don't think I want that one. I quite like that one actually because it's not too not too busy okay so put that in there i uh, don't think i want that one. i definitely want this one because i think them roses will go really nice so let's put that there um that's nice we'll have that one that green one's nice we'll have that that one we'll have that that one and I think I might I don't I can't put all these in and let's have we can use that for ephemera I think I'm going to stick with that for now and let's see how many we get I can always add more and if there's not enough I've still got all these papers here but like I said I just had a good look through everything and grabbed out some stuff I thought I might be able to use so let's cut these down then and let's see how many we've got then I think that's nice nine and three quarters Yeah, I like it because it's using some of my scrapbooking papers up. It's great to get them out and have a good look through them, see what I can find. Um, which other one was I using? That one. I've got the other paper pads as well, you see. I've got that. How many is that we've done now? Let's have a look. One, two... Three, four, five, six, and a piece of vellum each. One, two, I think that'll be enough for now. Did I not cut that down? What did I? That seems very tall. Put it down, yeah. I'm just going to take a little bit more off there. 
right okay so let me just in fact i'm going to score these down the middle so i'm going to go to six i've got my score let me just move my cutting thing up there score it so that's one and i can make the cover around my signatures now that's why i wanted to do the signatures first so that i can make the cover around it and six right let's move that for a minute let's sort this out to a piece of a blue piece a checked piece put it in that one okay well, i've not scored that one i'll just fold it over Uh, which one's that with with this one okay so that is that let's just grab the signatures got one there and it's that one and then another one here so it's going to be a nice big thick chunky journal lots of ephemera in right okay so that's that up to now there's my two signatures and i'm just going to have a look in here for some smaller pages let's have a look if I, just then i've got a bit of variety if i decide not to use them as pages i can use them for ephemera yeah we can have that one because there's nothing on the back of there even if i only put a page each just i'm going to do it slightly grungy not overly grungy uh, but yeah, well, there is going to be some grunge in it. That's three. And the rest are like, I don't want to fold that in half. What's that? Let's have that one. So we've got four pieces of that and then the rest I can use for the ephemera so put that behind me there it can go in my basket and then this one i don't think it's double sided this i might just use this for ephemera isn't that beautiful look at that isn't that gorgeous how would that fold maybe i could put a piece of this in the middle or something might be nice in the middle mightn't it with Alice right, let's get one of them yeah I might put a piece of this in the middle I'm gonna save that I think for ephemera I can always add some more in, like I said, if I want to, but it's going to be really chunky to um, bind, isn't it? Okay, let's have a look at that. So we've got, uh, let's have that and that. Oh no, let's have that and that and that and that. How many pieces have we done there? So that is with that one and that is with that one. Okay. So that's that signature let's have a look at that let's put that over there okay let's just have a little look and see what it looks like so the papers that's my middle the papers uh, book page these are just little i do like having a little variety of different size papers i'm just going to Put that bag on the end just to open it yeah i like having a few different kinds of paper in let's just oh that's just don't know if i, I don't think i want that in i'm going to take that out what was this one blue one right we'll have that and then this checkered one and then we've got just papers let's just fold these over 
this is just how I do it. I just find it nice way to work, get gathering everything together first and then sorting it out. Everybody works differently. There's no right and there's no wrong way. Just go with what you do normally. I'm going to trim some of these down. I do want quite a bit of writing paper as well. So um, yeah. You know, you might have, uh, you, and if you've got a digital Alice kit, then you can use that, can't you? Just because I'm doing no digitals, or if you want to work along with me making ephemera and stuff like that, then that's great. Yeah, be nice to know you're working along with me. I, like I said, I do want quite a bit of journaling space, that's why I've put quite a bit of plain paper in. Right, okay, so that's plain paper. That's plain paper, that is plain paper. Right, what shall we start with is the question. Um, what do I want to start with? I would have liked them roses, but they're the other way around. I think I'm going to start with that one and we can embellish it. It's really tall, that, doesn't it? What size is that? It looks longer than... I've not cut that one down. I say it looks really, really long. Where's my trimmer gone? Bear with me, guys. I thought it left. I must have forgotten to to do this one. Yeah, I thought it was really long. <laughs> mind some being shorter some being longer okay so that's that one let's put a little piece in there let's put a diary page in there let's put another piece of scrapbooking paper let's put some avocado dyed paper let's put one of these little ones in Another uh, piece of just coffee dyed. Let's put the book page in. I'll have to trim some of these, but I'm just going to put them in for now, just then I can see what I'm working with. Uh, what else do I want? Line paper, music paper. Let's put the vellum in. And then that one. Let's put some more scrapbooking paper in. Yeah, I've not cut that one down neither, have I? Let's cu oh, I'll cut it down in a minute. That one, scrapbooking paper. Um, that one, a little one, doily. Um, It's uh, not scrapbooking paper, what is it? Uh, coffee dyed paper, little paper bag. Um, let's put that one with Alice. Invoice paper. Might be too much here, I don't know, we'll see. If I do elastic it'll be okay. And then that one I'm going to have in the centre like that. So I definitely need to cut it down. What's my tallest piece of paper I've got in there? Because I don't want the cover bigger than nine, in, nine and a half. So I need to cut it down. So what I'll do, guys, is I'm going to leave it there now. I just wanted to sort of show you uh, the way I work. The, you know, I collect all my stuff first and then have a think about what I need to use and then... Um, this is what I do, I get everything out, I, even though I might not use all this stuff, I've put it in now, I can always take it out if I want to. So that is the start of our Alice in Wonderland journal, it's going to be a long, longer process than other ones because it's going to be a big journal. Um, I'll do other things in between, I won't just do this every day because it will get boring. So yeah, but it might take us a couple, you know, 
good few weeks to do um so yeah i'm going to leave it there then guys and any questions feel free to ask me and i will see you all again soon thank you for stopping by take care bye for now